Good morning, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Down YouTube channel. Welcome to another day of triathlon training. Uh, I've been for a swim this morning. That was actually my longest swim of the year. I got in about two or three minutes early. As soon as the tape was up, I was in. Continuously swam apart from once or twice, stopping to empty my goggles, and then stayed in until about two minutes past the time you're supposed to get out, literally getting asked to get out of the pool. Uh, but I've got to get some distance in, unless I'm going to double book sessions, like book 45 minute slot, and then sit on the side 15 minutes and book another slot. Like I'm going to have to try and squeeze as much as I can out, because that's okay for a half iron man, but only like four weeks after Outlaw Half, I've got Outlaw Full, 3.8k swim. I need to get up to three, three and a half, 4k. So I've perhaps actually thinking about it from next week. I might have to double book sessions, but just frustrating. But anyway, that was a real good swim. I was actually swimming like I wanted to get somewhere rather than just steady swimming. And I think it was a fair bit quicker. I think it was about five seconds per 100 quicker than I swam on Monday. So good stuff. Early indications are good. And you know what? I felt, felt good when it's going good. It's easy to go harder, isn't it? Um, so that's it for this morning. What are we doing this lunchtime? I think I'm going to run at lunchtime. I think I'm actually going to do it this time. So I'll see you at lunch. Here we go then, lunchtime run. I'll leave the stats on screen somewhere. I'm hoping it's going to be between four and five miles. I nearly went on the treadmill because of the drizzle. I'm glad I didn't. It's a lot less boring coming outside. But I'm hoping that the drizzle's going to clear up because the main focus of today is tonight's bike ride. It's not going to be a hard session at all. We're going to go to um, Darley Moor, which is for those that watched a couple of weeks ago. I did a crit race there. So it's a closed road circuit. And we're going to go on TT bikes, Liz and I. Have a nice sort of spin around there. Our local clubs putting, putting like a come and ride evening on. Perfect opportunity to ride a lap, fiddle with setup, ride a lap, fiddle with setup, that sort of thing. I'm going to test my internal hydrogen and get to the Anyway, so I'll see you there later on. But I probably can't talk about this in front of the list because I'm just a little bit salty about it. I'm in trouble again. Yesterday, wasted evening, went out for a run with James, as you might have seen. Lost the house key on the way around. It's not my fault though. Hear me out. It was in my pocket. There was a hole in my pocket, but I didn't know there was a hole in my pocket. So although it's my fault, it's not my fault. Whatever. Anyway, hopefully see you later for the TT bike sesh. Good evening, hello. We are at Darley Moor Race Circuit. There's not a huge amount of people here, so it should be, should be a good evening on the track. Loads of kiddies here, aren't there, Liz? Yeah. It's going to teach us some good crit lessons, which by shouting at kids. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, Liz, what is the main aim for tonight's session? Just being comfy on the bike. You told me earlier, going zoom, zoom. <laughs> <laughs> and that as well. Yeah, so what are you testing? You're testing your hydration, you're testing your new bars that you've got like on. It's leaking already. Yeah, you've got a higher hand position. Uh, Daniel, I've put you on some uh, angled spaces under your armrest, so you're a bit more of a normal angle. I haven't glued these down yet because I'm anticipating having to move these around quite a lot. Yep, yeah, all right, see you later. <laughs> okay, um, what have I got to change? I've changed some spec with that end of my bike. If you spot it on the video, let me know down below what you've spotted. Uh, but I'm going to cover it in a separate video, so I'm just going to do that. Let's get pedaling. Good work. Looking good. So this is the corner where I just peeled off of when I was leading Matt out for a sprint a couple weeks ago. I'll tell you when we get to the finish line, that's how far away it is. Liz, how's tonight been? Productive though, hasn't it? Productive, so we've changed your position a bit, haven't we? We've gone a bit wider. Yeah. My confidence now. yeah, Liz has been a bit of a nervous wreck to be honest. I think the whole sensation of being on a racetrack like adds to it, doesn't it? Yeah. Whereas like, I get on it and think, oh yeah, great, it's easier. Actually, for Liz, it's all quite new still. So yeah, I've not really done much cycling to be honest. Done more taking pictures and stuff and helping Liz out. But I've done my training for today, really. I didn't really need to do any bike session today. I'll tell you what. My position feels good. Bike feels good. The new setup feels good. Quietly confident about the next few weeks ahead. We're still not at the finish line, by the way. I don't know why Matt didn't win it. Like, only had about 600 meters. Are we at the finish line yet? Yeah. No. I don't know where Matt's gone. We'll talk to him in a minute because he's my uh, arch nemesis in the uh, time trial world local. Here we go, finish line. I don't know what his problem was. It wasn't that far to sprint, was it? Right, so I'm in the car on the way home. I forgot I was a YouTuber for a second. Um, thanks to Liz for driving the, uh, me home so I can crack on with the video. So you guys get a video tomorrow because I'm in the office tomorrow for the first time in ages. Um, good ride? Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Um, position felt great by the end. Yeah. And my confidence was just growing each lap, so that was good. Yeah, I mean, it started pretty low. You were like a nervous wreck, if I'm honest. Yeah, <laughs> it was pretty bad. To me, getting on like a racetrack like that, it feels a loads less stressful but obviously you've not been on a the trouble is for me i'm just not used to the bike and, and because i'm not riding the bike regularly enough every time i get on the bike it's like i've never ridden it before mm -hmm. and so then i have to like build up again but then by 
the end and I just felt great on it. <laughs> so what are you going to do to change that? Ride it more. Excellent, good. You don't need to do it outside, outside. you can ride it on a turbo or something. Yeah, but it's not the same, is it? No, it's close enough. Alright, yeah, so that is it. Um, hopefully I've been bothered enough to do a little bit of Super 6 slow-mo. Um, I'm feeling really confident on my, my bike. Uh, feels good, feels comfy, feels fast. Hopefully it looks fast, that, that's the most important part. So that is it for today's video. Really, really productive day, good day's training. Um, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you tomorrow at 4pm for what is happening tomorrow. I'm going to go out on the road on the bike, I think, because I'm going to support the lads on Friday. And what time are you back from work? I don't know. We'll see how well, that goes. Well, I'm at work all day and I've got a staff meeting, so... That sounds excellent. All right, <laughs> see you then. Sounds you set the camera? No? What? You're taking the camera for a vlog. What, to work and for yeah. a staff meeting? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, all right. Bye.